In this video, we will be discussing how to do symbolic indefinite and definite integration in MATLAB. First let's take a look at symbolic indefinite integration. To perform this operation, we must first define the variables, or symbols, used in the integration. This is done by listing the variables just after the sims command, and separating each variable by a space. In our example, we use the variables x, y, and z. Next, we must define the equation as shown. As a final step, we must feed the variable we wish to solve for, and the equation, into the MATLAB integration function. The equation is placed within the parenthesis first, and the variable or symbol we wish to solve for is second. If we process the algorithm, MATLAB returns the indefinite integral in the command window. To perform a definite integral, the procedure is very similar. We start by defining the symbols used in the integral. Next, we define the equation to be integrated. For this example, we will be using the same equation as we did in the indefinite integration. In the final step, we feed the equation, variable, and range into the MATLAB integration function. The range is specified within square brackets where the starting point comes first, and the end point comes second. Running the algorithm, MATLAB returns the definite integral in the command window. So there you have it. In this video, we have shown you how to solve a definite and indefinite symbolic integral using MATLAB's int function. We hope you enjoyed our tutorial. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. We will see you next time.